Hi everyone, this is Max Gullickson and I'm here with Southbridge Community Television, our studio at 41 Elm Street and we're coming on into the month of October and I'm here again with our esteemed librarian, Margaret Morrissey of the Jacob Edwards Library. Hello Margaret. Hi Max. How are we doing? Great, thank you. We had a great month uh, last month with Latin Acts and the Latin theme and here we are in October and as per usual you have a uh, uh, a theme for the whole month and it's uh, landscape art and that starts on Thursday with a reception. Right. We have Connected in Nature Landscape Paintings by uh, Pia Samant and Doreen Lascola. What is that about? So um, because it's uh, October, um, the, the last Green Valley um, celebrate in October, they have walks and heritage uh, celebrations and the Jacob Edwards Library is participating in Walktober this year and um, we offer the um, nature program. They're, um, both artists are focusing on nature uh, mm -hmm. in their art and um, they have very different styles and uh, it'll be very interesting to see uh, a joint exhibit of two well-known artists in the Worcester County area. Mm -hmm. And uh, Pia has already exhibited uh, as a solo show previously, so folks might remember her work and uh, they might be interested in coming back to see some more uh, of her work. And um, it's going to be a reception on the Thursday evening from 6.30 to 7.30 and everybody's invited mm -hmm. and it should be fun. That's like a lot of the programs you have. And the first Thursday you have the reception with the artists often. And then so if people can't make that, then they have the whole month to come by and examine the art. Yeah, during library opening hours, um, anybody can view the art. And we love if people will make a comment in the guest book because then the artist may not uh, be there to hear the, the person saying anything, mm -hmm. but they at least know what the feedback is like. And that's really important. Because, oh, I'm sure. Um, you know, to make that connection with our community because uh -huh. otherwise it's sort of, you know, they just come drop off their art and whatever. Mm -hmm. So the exhibit opens tomorrow morning, um, mm -hmm. Tuesday, and uh, it'll be on for the whole month. So a little while back, about a year or so ago, we had a presentation over there uh, that was um, uh, involved Felix Gatineau and the early French influence in our town here. Now, on the 7th of October, you have something similar to that, and we're looking at the um, a distinct alien race, the untold story of Franco-Americans with author David Vermette from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. on the 7th of October. So more about French history here in Sopridge. What's that about? Who's David Vermette? So David Vermette is an author. This is his first book. Mm -hmm. um, he has He's originally from Massachusetts, but he now lives in uh, the Annapolis area. Mm -hmm. And he's visiting New England at the moment, and we're delighted that he would uh, come to Southbridge. Uh, it's a big honor. Uh, the program is on on Monday evening, so that's unusual for us. So it's October 7th at 6.30. Mm -hmm. um, he is a writer and uh, a blogger, actually, and that's how I came across him first. Mm -hmm. I had read his blog, and he was talking about the invisibility of the French Canadians, because if you think about it, um, you know, they... Um, until they start speaking, you probably don't recognize that they're, you know, speak with a different accent. Mm. So um, he'll be talking about how uh, the Felix Gatineau book influenced his writing, and he relies on his research for Felix Gatineau as well, is what he's told me. So copies of the book will be available. Um, book Lovers Gourmet will be here from Webster, mm -hmm. and they will be selling the book, and it'll be just around $30. It's, uh -huh. uh, okay, you also have other programs. On the 17th of October, which is Thursday, we have another movie, the library box office film screening of Paris to Pittsburgh. And I understand that's uh, an environmental movie? Yes, and it's a cameo um, appearance for us. Um, it's a Bloomberg project and we had to apply for a license. So it's, um, we were, we uh, indicated that we'd like to show it and we wanted a, a large audience. So we're hoping that a lot of you will show up because it'll only be shown once. Uh -huh. And it's something that's been spoken about within the environmental and environmental movement. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're very happy to be able to show it in Southbridge and to, to see and to connect what other communities are thinking and doing. And there's some fine examples uh, given in the movie. So 
And so for anybody who's never been to, because you show movies a lot there, mm -hmm. anybody who's never been to one, one, it's very comfortable. Yes. Uh -huh. And we have soft seats and we have surround sound. So and there's no charge. No charge. Oh, so what a great time uh, yeah. to be had if you're looking for something to do. And particularly if you have an interest in environmental issues, uh -huh. this movie's kind of important. Or if you're just curious, it's a good consciousness raising kind of effort as uh -huh. well. So. You know, we try to present educational and uh, recreational movies, so oh. we try to mix it up a little. Toward the end of the month, you have Voyagers, Visitors, and Home with Dale Manette on Thursday uh, the 31st, which is uh, Halloween night, from 6.30 to 7.30. We had Dale on before. He was some lovely pictures of a lot of wildlife near yeah. rivers, like birds specifically. Exactly. What's he doing here with this one? He's um, doing more birds and he's very talented. Um, his uh, photography is called North Quabbin Photography because he lives in the, the Quabbin area and actually has worked in the Quabbin um, for the state for many years and is now retired mm -hmm. and has um, just a huge number of photographs and they're all on his website. and. You can see his talent, but he's also a wonderful presenter. He's very droll, and um, the audience usually is um, very interested in hearing his presentation, so it would be something really worth coming to. Did you get to. most of his pictures from the Quabbin out there? Yeah. I imagine that's quite a watershed. He, I mean, he also goes to for... um, um, Canada, and he has now started to take some photographs there, but he, the, still the main focus of his website mm -hmm. is the photographs that he takes at the Quabbin. And we also have um, the Italian Heritage 24th. Um, Dr. Fava Thomas is going to come from Fitchburg State and talk about her research um, specifically on Italian migration mm -hmm. from Italy to, um, to the United States and to Massachusetts. But her specific interest is on um, Palestrina, which are, or it's also called Lazio which is the Italian name, and it's a community east of Rome, and there are quite a few people from Southbridge or who have, South, who have Italian heritage that, whose family hail from there. So I think it will be very interesting um, to hear the research that she has come up with, and she's been working diligently for the last year and a half on this mm -hmm. project. And I think families will be surprised to hear what she has to say. And she has published already um, and has been at con a conference this summer in England presenting about this very topic. So it's very interesting that Southbridge and Lazio slash Palestrina have um, been spoken about this you know, internationally. This relationship between yeah. that place and ours. We have a robust Italian community here. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, and that would also be timely, just like the French show as well. That's great, Margaret. Well, there you go, folks. We have, again, in the month of October, a whole uh, plethora of things for you to do over at the library. And this month, they revolve around environmental and landscape things in keeping with Walktober. Of course, we have Tinkering Thursday and Crafty Wednesday and all the regular things for uh, children of all ages. So do yourself a favor. Stop into our local library. Visit with Margaret and the crew down there and find out all the wonderful things that are going on this month at your local library. Margaret, thanks again. Thank you, Folks, we'll see you again next time right here on Southbridge Community Television. This is Max Gullickson, and I'm signing off. Thank you.